In this video, we'll be taking a look at creating a minimap that looks something like this. Stay tuned for that. Before we start this video, this video is sponsored by Unity. Unity is currently offering New Year's sale for up to 50% off through the 7th of January. Not only that, you can save 5% more on all orders using the coupon code GOODBYE2020. Check the link in the description below to get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using the asset called Third Person Controller created by Invector. If you want to use the same asset, feel free to download them. The link is in the description. To create a minimap, the first thing that we need to do is to create the second camera. So go to your hierarchy, hit right click and select camera. Then rename the camera to minimap camera. Next, we need to make sure that the position of the camera is set to where the player is located. So drag the camera object and put it inside of the player. That should update the position of the camera. Then go to the inspector and reset the transform. Then unchallenge the minimap game object. Next, we need to move the camera up for a bit, so let's set its Y position to something like 12. Then let's rotate the camera so it's pointing downwards. So let's set the X rotation to 90. Next, let's go over here in our camera component and set the following settings. First, let's set the background type to color, then set the background color to white or any color that you want to use. I'll just set it to white for this video. Next, for the calling mask, actually let's come back to that later on. Let's proceed to projection and set it to orthographic. That should make our camera view flat. If you're not seeing anything, make sure that you set the depth to 1. The next thing that we're going to create is the UI for our minimap. So go to your hierarchy window, hit right click and select UI, then raw image. The reason for that is because we're going to use render texture. That should create a white square in your game view. Now let's make it bigger because it looks very small. Let's set its width and height to 200. Now I'd like my minimap to be placed in the bottom right corner of my game. So let's go to its anchor preset or in your inspector. In the transform, there's anchor presets. And then hold your alt key. That should give you new options for anchoring. And then select this time the bottom right anchor preset. That should move the raw image to the bottom right corner of your game view. And even if you resize your game view, the raw image will stay in that position. Now we have the camera and the raw image. The next thing that we're going to create is the render texture. So go to your project window, hit right click and select create and then render texture. Let's just rename this to minimap. Then in the inspector, let's set its size to 512 by 512. So it's not going to look like it's in low resolution. Now let's use this render texture in our camera. Select the minimap camera object, go to the output section and apply the render texture to the target texture. And also let's remove the audio listener because we don't need that. All right, now we're almost done. Let's select the raw image and apply the render texture. And there you go. Now we have a working minimap, but it looks really boring. It's just pointing downwards, not moving with the player whatsoever. So let's make it look like an actual minimap. Go to your project window, create a new C Sharp script and call it minimap. And then open the script with Visual Studio. The first thing that we need to do is to get the player object. So inside the start function, use the game object that find game object with tag and make sure that you're passing the player tag. And also make sure that your player tag is set to player. Next, let's change the update function to a late update. And inside of this, we're going to set the camera's position to the player's position. Create a new vector 3, call it player position, then set its value to player position. Then set the player position.y to transform that position.y. So basically, we're just keeping the camera's y position so the camera wouldn't go up and down whenever the player is jumping. Then lastly, we're going to pass the value of player position to transform that position. Save the script and apply the script to the minimap camera. Let's try the game and the minimap camera should be following the player. Cool, now let's customize our minimap. Select the minimap camera and set its size to something like 17. And then let's remove the ground to our minimap camera. Let's select the ground and give it a new layer and call it ground. And then apply the ground layer to the ground game object. And then next, select the minimap camera and here in the calling mask, make sure that the ground layer is unchecked. That should remove the ground in the minimap. 
And there you have it. Now we have the minimap at the bottom right corner of our screen, but our player is starting to move really, really weird. This is because we have customized our, our ground. We have changed the layer of our ground. So make sure that you have set up your character or your player. And in here in the basic control light by in vector, you have to set the ground layer to ground. So let's try it again. And that should fix our player. Awesome. Now we can run, we can walk, and our minimap looks much better. Awesome. So if you want to use a logo, say for example for your player, if you want to display a circle, then all you need to do is just to do the same thing. You have to set a layer for your player. Let's actually do that. Let's stop our game mode. And in our player, I'm going to create a new game object. And I'm going to select, say for example, cylinder. And as you can see, there it is. There's a cylinder. And let's just press F, there you go. And then let me just make this bigger. And I don't want this to create shadows. So in our lighting, I'll just set the cast shadow to off. And then next, if you want to change the color of your logo for your player, all you need to do is just to, of course, create a new material. And I'll just call this logo or player mini map logo. And let's just apply that to our cylinder. Actually, let me just rename this to player mini map logo. And then I'll change the color to something like yellow, like so. And then we're going to set a layer for our logo. So this is going to be player. And then for our player itself, we're going to change the layer to something like player logo. And then for the player, I'll set its layer to player. Yes, children. And then for the player minimap logo, I'll change this to player logo. There you have it. And let's select our minimap camera. And then for the calling mask, I'll check the player logo, but make sure that the player is unchecked. All right, so let's try that. Let's play our game. And there you have it. Now we have a yellow circle in here, but our main camera is also rendering the circle. So what we can do is just to, for our main camera, so camera is our main camera. And then for the calling mask, let's just uncheck the player logo like so. And that should not render the circle. All right. So let's just play it again. And there you have it. Now we don't have the cylinder anymore, but we have the circle in our minimap. Now, if we move, there it is. Now we're moving. And now there's another problem. If you try to move, as you can see, it's hitting the cylinder. So that's really easy to fix. Just select the player minimap logo, get rid of the capsule collider, and then let's try it again. Hit play. And there you have it. Now you should be able to hit the wall. Now, if you want to design your minimap, say, for example, you want to add a border, then that's pretty easy. All you need to do is just to let's go to our canvas. Actually, let's rename this to minimap. And then let's just duplicate this and then get rid of the minimap render texture. Let me just set this to none. And then let's go back to our game view and let's just move this above the minimap. And then let's just rename this to minimap border. And then let me just resize this to 210 by 210 like so. And then what we can do next, just create a new empty game object inside of our canvas. And then let's just call this mini map. And then let's just move the two object inside. So mini map and then mini map border. And then for this one, what we can do is just to move the position X and a position Y. All right, let's try that. All right, so now as you can see, it's not in the right position. Let's try to fix that. Um, in our mini map, let's just select anchor preset, hold alt and select the bottom right corner. And then let's just reset the position, zero, zero. And then for this one, let's just set the position to zero and zero. And then for the minimap as well, change the position, zero and zero. And let's select minimap, select the anchor preset again, hold alt and select the bottom right corner. And then we can just remove this again. And we can just set this to negative 170. And for the Y, negative 170. Actually, it's supposed to be positive, so 170. There you go. Now, if we try to play this, and there you go. Now, it's in the bottom right corner. 
And there you have it. We have created a very simple yet nice looking mini map in less than 10 minutes. In the next video, we will take a look at adding more icons for NPC or other stuff like buildings. If you want more Unity related tutorials, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future uploads. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.